Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I like to do photography. So I thought I would start a photography channel and yeah, just try and inspire others to get out, take photos, whether that's to make a living or just for fun, then hopefully this will inspire people to do it. Now I thought I'd kick off my channel with actually a bag review, which isn't just a what's in my camera bag, but actually the type of bag I got and why I got that. Just because when I was looking at buying it, there weren't tons out there and I actually love this bag. It's not a sponsored video. I have absolutely no deals. This is my first video. Like don't assume that any of this is paid for or anything. It is literally, I like this bag and yeah, I thought it might be a cool, fun, easy way to kick my channel off. Okay, so the bag I went with is the Timber Axis 24 litre version 2 bag. There are other sizes, but this is the one that suits me best for my purposes and my size. Now, before we actually dive into this bag, I should probably let you know what I was looking for when purchasing a bag. So to start off with, I wanted something that I could grow into. I didn't have a lot of kits, so I wanted to be able to add to that, but not limit myself on what I could take while also not being too bulky. I didn't want something that was super thick or super big where I'd be more noticeable in a city than if I had more typical type of day bag or a slimmer, more casual look. In saying that, I still wanted it to be supportive when I had as much kit as I wanted in here, when it was super heavy. I didn't want to feel like I was lugging all that around. I wanted something I could wear pretty much all day and not be sore, be super comfortable and just be able to focus on getting the shot and enjoying wherever I am rather than thinking, oh, I've got to lug this bag around. With that comes having adjustable straps so that it is the best fit possible. And then as I mentioned, I've got kit. I want something that is adjustable in the main compartment so that I can fit any of the lenses that I want to so that I can get every shot I want and not limit myself before I've even left the house. Other things that are nice to have for bigger trips or going away is having a storage compartment for the laptop that I use, which is a 16 inch MacBook. And also just having other pockets where I can safely store things like lens cloths, or filters, or cables, or even just camera clips and random like things that I pick up along the way or that I might need, but don't wanna put in the main camera compartment. So I wanted it to be versatile in other small bits of use because that's what my last camera bag didn't have. I always had to sort of find nifty ways of storing those. So with that said, let's dive into what this bag actually looks like and how I roughly use it. Okay, so diving into this bag, first thing is let's talk about straps. The straps are awesome, really comfortable. They're actually quite a unique sort of design. They come in and then go out. So they actually sit flatter and more natural on your body. I've definitely found some others before have sort of cut into my shoulders a little bit, uh, but having that sort of curved design has been really, really nice. You've also got multiple adjustment points. So you've got your standard, straps down here to adjust the length of the strap but what i love on all of these before i forget to mention the elastics here are not removable but they are used to hold the excess strap down and it just keeps it so neat i hate when they're flapping around and it just seems so ridiculous push them down keep the strap away awesome really easy you can also because they're elastic easily get the strap in and out of there as needed so that is just it's not something i thought of outside like I had a solution until I found a bag with that. I was like, oh, that's just super handy. It's an extra positive. You've also got these tracks here on the bag where you can actually adjust and pull down, push up where your straps both go. Now I've got this one as low as possible and then that one sort of floats around the middle, but both of these will actually go up and down to sit on your chest wherever you like. So that way you can actually get the more comfortable fit. And being a chick, sometimes, if you don't have adjustable chest straps, they're just in the wrong spot. And if you can't move them, it's really annoying. So that's awesome. I love that they're actually removable. You can also tuck these straps underneath these excess things here. All they're great for a camelback um, hose and things like that. Additionally, you have a adjustable strap at the top. So you can make it higher, you can make it lower wherever it sits on your back so that it's comfortable for you. And that was just a super huge win for me because I tend to like something that is a little bit higher and sits close to my body. And a lot of the straps don't quite do that. So it's a bit more like a hiking pack in that way. Other straps that you've got, you've got one on 
the water bottle side, which is super handy because you can also put a tripod in there. It holds nice and tight. So I'll do that in smaller trips or if I just have a water bottle. Or another great thing is that I've also put a two litre camelback down here. It'll fit in nice and snug in the water bottle compartment. And then this will hold in the head of that so it doesn't sort of flop over when it's full. So that's actually really, really cool because you also, on the front have all of your um, standard tactical sort of uh, straps where you can attach extra compartments as needed. And you've got a tripod uh, section dedicated to it with an actual pull out foot where you can let's do it now, it tucks nice and in and just comes down to support the feet of the tripod. Now, me personally, I don't actually like that the tripod is all the way out here. I find that it can be annoying with the amount of weight that's now coming further from my body, being a smaller person. Um, it also means that if I'm gonna put it down, I'm now putting it on my tripod and I don't always like to do that. So if I can use the side pocket for my tripod, I will. So that about wraps up the straps, except for one that I just quickly need to grab because I have removed it from my bag. Okay, so this is the belt strap. It literally will sit under the padding here and it can be attached or added as needed. I love that it has a belt strap. It makes it really, really supportive when it is heavy or going on a hike. You don't mind looking a bit like a Gumby, but when I'm going around the city or something, I don't want this because again, it makes me more noticeable. And the fact that I can totally remove it and have a bag that is without, it doesn't have any super long excessive straps that where it might attach or anything. It's short, sleek, you don't even notice them, you don't feel them, and that's super important. So it's just as comfortable without as it is with the belt. And you don't have to try and like do some snifty thing of buckling it to itself or, or tying it around other straps to try and get it out of the way. So that's awesome. In the padding, there is a little Velcro patch that this slips onto, which also means that it's not going to slide and move as you've got there. So. It's nice and secure when it's in place, as well as the buckles that will help hold it there. And you're locked in, you know you're secure, you can have that weight for a longer trip, or you can keep it off like I do on the day to day. I very rarely use this. As you can see, it's in pretty awesome condition. So that was just fantastic. If a belt didn't come off, that bag was not good to me. I did not even bother with it anymore. Okay, so moving on to the main compartment. I have to say, I love how big the zips are because you can just rip round with it and I've never had a problem of the zip snagging on anything. So that's just awesome. All right, so opening this up, we have one large zipper compartment here. I'm not gonna lie, I would love if there was a second one, but again, no bag is perfect, so. I will take a zipper compartment over anything else. In here, again, awesome zip. Uh, I just keep the lens caps and filters that I use. But one thing I always make sure with this pouch is that it's pretty flat so that when I put it down, it's not actually going to poke into my back at all or put any extra stress on my lenses in here. In this, the way that I've got it set up is pretty standard for me. I don't really change it from this. I have two lenses at the top, my 100 to 400 in the middle, my flash actually at the top because it's easy to get to, but also fairly tucked away. I've got my GoPro, my mic will go here. This little black pouch is actually a fly and it comes standard with the bag. So that is awesome. Then down the bottom, I've got two power packs and I'll remove those as needed. I can, I can put my flash down there instead. But overall, you can see that I've got tons of space i can move my camera body around into different locations i can either store it down the bottom towards the side axis which we'll get to in a moment or from the top axis and that is just brilliant the fact that i can have those two options is perfect because i usually use the side axis but if i have the top axis say i'm shooting more sports or an event that might actually be easier for me to get to so again being able to move my 100 to 400 into multiple spots or being able to put it on the camera and in the bag, no matter what I'm doing, fantastic. So talking about access points, the side access is definitely my most used. I love that I can literally have the bag on my back 
and there's my camera usually as needed. I'm currently filming on it, I only have one body, but that's where it typically will live. And I can literally just grab it out with my right hand and away I go. I also love this zipper on the side. So this zipper pocket actually has just my lens cloth in it. I don't put anything else in it, but that way again, I can just open it up, get my lens cloth out, quickly clean my lens and stash it away. It would also be a really handy pocket to possibly put a lens cap, but I just typically shove that in my pocket. All of these zips also having the cords on them, fantastic. So easy to grab. I'm assuming that they'd be awesome to grab with gloves on, but you just grab, rip around, get what you need really fast and put it away. It's also why I really like side access for cameras. Now, my first bag, and this is only my second bag, my first bag, I didn't have a side access pocket and I always thought, yeah, it's nice, but I don't, I don't really need it. I usually have it on my clip um, or top access or some back access, no worries. You know, like just make do with what I got. But now that I have side access, especially if I'm out and about either on street and I've put it away or if I'm hiking and I've put it away for ease, I wanna you know, brush it up against any wet leaves or maybe it's raining or something, but I still want a quick shot. It's very easy to get into that, grab it out and away I go. Whereas if it was top access or back access only, I'd have to put the bag down and by then maybe the shot, the light, whatever it is, has changed or disappeared. So having those three access points with different purposes, I can grab out my 100 or 400 from the top, from my back, doesn't matter, or possibly from the side, depending on where I put it. It's just awesome because it allows the customization in the actual camera section, the divider section. That way, depending on whatever I'm trying to shoot or whatever I'm doing, if I move things and have specific access or quick access to different lenses or whatever, then I'm making the most of whatever I'm shooting or whatever opportunity I have. If I'm locked into one type of layout because of the kit that I have, then that's automatically restricting. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the straps, the externals, and the main compartment, but let's now talk about these two pockets here. This one in the middle with a slightly water resistant uh, cover is the laptop section. So it'll fit a 16 inch laptop and it opens quite wide, which is absolutely awesome because when I wanna get my laptop out, I don't wanna be like trying to slip my hand in and fit it and try to hold it and pull it out. The fact that I can move this corner really easily and get good access is amazing because otherwise I'd want that zipper to go all the way around. But even though it doesn't, it's plenty easy to get a laptop in and out. It is also an amazing compartment when I'm out and I'm not taking a laptop with me. I can slip a couple, like a different shirt or a thin jersey or jacket or something down here and that means that A, it's a little bit water resistant, but also I'm not then clogging up either a section in my main compartment or protruding out too far with this pouch at the front. And I can store other things there. So moving on to the front pouch, you can do excess stuff with like clipping on pouches or whatever you like to the front here. But like I said, I prefer not to do that with my tripod and I don't actually have any pouches at the moment to do that with anyway but in this main compartment it does everything that i need nice easy grabbable zip again really easy never had any problems with any of these zips it's really well made in here we have one quite large basically takes half of the bag height it's a huge zip compartment i put my cables in there because they're not something i readily access and need access to constantly but it is a really good easy way that I can put them there, I can take them if I needed to charge off my packs, but I don't need to constantly have them either irritating me with where they are and how they're placed in my main compartment. They're here, I only get them when I need to, and if I don't need to access them, they're not on the road for grabbing out anything else that I need. You also have two other compartments here. These ones don't zip, but they are amazing just to put in like the hot shoe cap, if I want to just tuck it away really quick without bothering with zips. I'll also sometimes put my camera clip in here so that if it's not actually on my strap as it is now, then I've still got it. But like I said, it's not in a different random compartment. This pouch also, while it only opens at sort of halfway because of the zipper, you do actually have the full front pocket depth. A small light or something small that I'm not going to actually need to access, I'm just taking it in a way from point A to point B, then I can pop it in here and just let it fall to the bottom. It's no worries at all. This is a really nice large pocket again, so it's very versatile on whatever you want to bring. 
I typically don't put a lot in there. But again, if you want an extra couple of changes of clothes or maybe a larger jacket, then you can put that in the front and it's not gonna be in your road until you need it. So overall guys, 10 out of 10 would recommend. My opinion may not count for much, but hopefully this has been a good look at the bag, at what I look for in a bag, what I get out of a bag, and sort of the way I prioritize my thinking. So if you did find this helpful, please smash the like button down below. And if you have any questions about this or I missed something, please leave me a comment and I will definitely respond to them. Small extra for those of you that have stuck around to the end and may want to give this a go or it's a consideration for you. I haven't actually tried this, but I noticed the other day that on the zips, they actually have a bit of a gap. So if I move the cord out of the road, I could pretty much get a small lock on there, I think. And that means that for my front pouch, possibly my laptop and the top pouch, I could actually lock those and make sure that no one is stealthily unzipping them to get into it. Now, again, I haven't tried that, but I definitely will if I'm going into a busy place where I'm worried people are gonna try and access my bag or if I'm going through an airport or something like that. But yeah, side note, haven't tried it. If you do, you have this bag, then give it a go, let me know how it goes. Otherwise, yeah, just thought I'd add that one on.